line, but if there has been an Achilles heel force this year, it's the ability to rebound the basketball, and they get a huge offensive rebound there down the stretch. Yeah, I thought they had a couple offensive rebounds that really hurt us, Scott, and, um, you know, it's just it's so disappointing. We, um, you know, get down to that, and, and we don't rebound the ball, but... Again, you know, hard lesson we got to learn, and, and hopefully we can move forward from it. Yeah, Coach, there down the stretch, you get a key backdoor pass, the no look from Nate Carter. You tie the basketball game up. Brianna Jackson there, she ties it at 45. You get some crucial free throws by Kaylee Keogh, but just down the stretch, Coach, and what was it there about that second half that really changed there as we struggled there to shoot 20% from the field? Well, I just thought we didn't do a really good job of being patient offensively. We knew they were going to sit in the zone most of the game, and um, had done some really good things in practice to, to go against it. Uh, they didn't give us any looks that we didn't prepare for. Um, again, in this patience offensively, you know, we've got to learn that we just, we're not going to be able to get something off one side. And when we, when we face the zone, we got to attack gaps, you know, and that kind of thing. So we just didn't get that done tonight. In one, half. one of 17 there from three-point range. Conversely, Coach, they hit some big-time threes there in that second half. As Carly Taylor, she was an assassin from the outside. And they, you know, from a, a first half to a second half, they shot the ball so much better there in that second half. Yeah, they did. Um, you know, defensively, I thought our effort um, wasn't good. You know, we talked about that at halftime. We, we didn't get a hand in their face. And um, we got to come to play every single night, and that's a disappointing thing. Um, again, had a couple good days of practice after the FIU game and came back out and didn't, it didn't look like it. So uh, we got to go back to the drawing board, and, and we'll keep keep giving them a shot to get better. Coach, I know that, uh, you know, practicing, you talk about that, and I know one of your players that has been practicing oh so well, and, you know, she displayed that here tonight, Stephanie Taylor, as she gets the start here this evening. And she didn't disappoint, Coach, in that first half, and I thought at times she really fueled the energy level of some of her teammates with some of those block shots there on that secondary level. Yeah, well, Stephanie did a great job, and Stephanie really has been – playing really well in practice um, you know really her confidence is up and um, she's she does a great job defensively and, and on the boards that's where it all starts she's a very good shot blocker um, and that gives our team energy I think and she's done a better job of finishing shots in the paint and that's what we need from Steph um, she's a presence in there and she's getting better and better every day well Nate Carter she bounces back for you coach and you know talking with assistant coach Brett Fink there before the game it seems at times this year in some of our losses we see some of our, our, our starting main guns offensively. When somebody doesn't get going, it really has a, a, a domino effect on, on other ladies. Brianna Jackson there, six points in that first half, scores just uh, uh, two more buckets there in that, that second half. But we're still searching, still searching for, for ladies to be able to step up offensively for us. Yeah, we are. We, we didn't uh, get too much contribution from some of our guards tonight that we usually do, and that's disappointing. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out a group, Scott. It's... it's um, it's kind of puzzling, but, you know, we've, we've got a lot of talent on this basketball team, and we're definitely not packing it up right now. It's just frustrating because we, um, you know, are not learning some learning from some mistakes that we're making. We're making some of the same mistakes, and, and you've got to learn from them. I think that's the, the main thing that we're trying to get across, and uh, BJ is a young player but very talented, and she's got some things to learn, but, you know, we'll get better. We just got to keep working at it in practice, and, and we'll do that. Coach, you mentioned the word puzzling because, you know, two games in a row as a coaching staff, you guys can't, as for anything more in terms of taking care of the basketball, just nine turnovers a game ago here tonight with with just eight of them. But at the same time, the rebounding numbers are, are really, really starting to, to rear their ugly head on us. Yeah, that's that's a big key for us. And, and you're not going to win games uh, no matter if you're playing Presbyterian, UAB, Florida Gulf Coast, whoever, whomever it is. Um, you got to rebound the ball to put yourself in position to win. you got to play defense and rebound every single night. And... Uh, we talk about that every day in practice, and we'll continue to do it and harp on it. But, you know, really, really disappointing that um, our rebounding effort wasn't better tonight. Yeah, Coach, this one stings here in that second half after having that six-point lead. You've got these three games in six days. you got the quick turnaround. We play a South Alabama team. That was an exciting finish from a season ago. You didn't like the way this one finishes uh, here tonight, but South Alabama coming up on, on Wednesday. Yeah, South Alabama, good. Uh, good rebounding team again very athletic and um, got us at their place and I believe it was triple overtime last year so um, again they'll be excited to play you know hopefully we'll come out with some energy we've got to learn from these mistakes Scott and, and we've got a, a talented basketball team I really feel like that and, and we've got to come out and show it but especially on the defensive end of the floor all right coach well hopefully we'll look for a, you know a solid 40 minutes of basketball that's what you guys can hope for as a as a coaching staff I know you weren't uh, happy with that energy level there in that second half here tonight? No, we weren't. Um, disappointing effort, but uh, we got to get better from that, and, and we, we got to put it behind us because we got a quick turnaround, like you said, on Wednesday with a, a good South Alabama team coming in here. 
All right, Coach. Well, we appreciate the time. You get a, a career night here tonight from Stephanie Taylor. Hopefully, things things to come down the down the way for for Stephanie Taylor. Yeah, I hope so. I'm really proud of Steph, and, and hopefully, she'll continue to to give us that uh, spark off the bench, or actually she, as a starter now. Right. Awesome, Coach. I appreciate. It. Thanks Thank for you. the time. We'll Thank see you on Wednesday night. There's head coach Joy Williams as UCF falling 53 to 49. Knights outscored there in that second half, 28 to 18, and it was down the stretch in which UCF would watch as those offensive rebounds there by Presbyterian, keeping plays alive. And UCF, the big time uh, uh, effort there was off the missed one in one opportunity. UCF could have grabbed that rebound and possibly tied the basketball game up. Instead, UCF watches as Presbyterian grabs it and then scores another bucket. As you see there, some of the numbers here tonight. We talk about the turnover effort. As a coaching staff, you can't ask for anything more. They're turning the basketball over just eight times. You see the 13 steals there for UCF, but it's the rebounding numbers that continue to plague this basketball team as the Knights have now been out-rebounded in 10 of 11 games here tonight. Uh, it happens again as 40 to 30, therefore the Blue Hose. And UCF, who had been a fairly good three-point shooting team here on the season, it was ugly tonight. One of 17. Could he use maybe two or three of them as the Blue Hose basically sitting there in that zone the entire second half? Talk about conversely, the Blue Hose, they knocked down five of nine on the day. UCF in that second half shooting sub 20% from the field as finishing on the day just 19 of 54. That's good for 35 and a half percent. UCF just eight free throw attempts. And I say that because the Knights had gone to the free throw line at least 20 times in the past six consecutive games. But that put to the wayside here tonight as three Presbyterian players score in double figures. Talk about Stephanie Taylor, bright spot here tonight for UCF. She gets her first career start as she provides a big time spark as she would play 28 minutes there or make that uh, uh, 28 plus minutes there on the day for UCF. She would score a career high 11 points, rip down 10 rebounds, her first ever double-double on the day. And Stephanie Taylor, a solid performance from her here tonight. Nay Carter, she finishes with 15 points. Brianna Jackson, 10 points for UCF in defeat as the Knights have now dropped back-to-back -back contests. And the road gets a little bit tougher here in the next couple days as UCF now will take on a South Alabama team that has done some good things here earlier on in the season. And then Florida Gulf Coast coming up on Saturday on the road there in Fort Myers. So UCF desperately will be seeking a win coming up on Wednesday night right here from Orlando as tip time is slated for 7 o'clock. But a very busy day or a very busy week of UCF athletics coming up. Night men's basketball tomorrow night right here from the UCF Arena. They'll be taking on the Miami Hurricanes. Then UCF there on Wednesday. Coach Joy Williams, her ladies looking to bounce back after tonight's performance in which they get dropped here by Presbyterian and the Blue Hose by the final score of 53 to 49. And with that loss, UCF now just three and eight on the season, two and three here at home in the UCF Arena. Meantime, Presbyterian, they even up their mark at six and six on the year. So I'd like to thank you for watching UCF basketball here tonight. I appreciate uh, your holiday spirit here as UCF cannot f uh, finish things off here down the stretch and they get toppled by Presbyterian 53 to 49. For, for our uh, entire video services crew, I'm Scott Adams. We'll see you on Wednesday night right here from the UCF Arena as the Knights will be taking on South Alabama and the Jaguars. So the Knights will look to go ahead and get a victory here before the first of the, the season or before the first of the year before Conference USA Basketball comes to fruition in January. You've been watching UCF basketball right here on UCFathletics.com.